by staying optimistic and refusing to give up despite the challenges that come our way our inner strength endures resilience grit agility compassion and gratitude these were the defining traits of 2020 and 2021 that helped us get through the pandemic with ease a very good morning and warm welcome to our beloved principal and director Ms. Rashmi Nankiolia, Vice Principals, Headmistresses, Supervisors, Teachers, Parents and Friends to this year's annual day celebrations of Grades 4 and 5. A grateful heart is the beginning of greatness. Prayer is understanding the power and wisdom of God in nature. We begin today's ceremony by invoking the blessings of the Almighty by reciting a verse from the Holy Quran. The surah will be rendered by Saeed Muhammad Faisal Ur Rahman of Grade 4J. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Wattini Wazzaytun Wattur Sinin Wahazal Balad Al-Amin Laqad Khalaqana Al-Insana Fi Ahsani Taqweem Thumma Radadana The beauty of music enlightens the soul and fills it with delight. Our vocal ensemble is all set to enthrall you with a mellifluous rendition of Indian classical fusion songs. So get set to be empowered, enchanted and enthralled as our melodic maestros transport you to another world where the ordinary becomes extraordinary.
Whoa! What a dazzling display of creative energy and soulful singing. It is a landmark day for DPS Dubai. We are excited and delighted to bring back in person annual day celebrations with a bang. It is a day which unfolds the rich pageantry of DPS Dubai as our students demonstrate their prowess in acting, singing and dancing on the big platform. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are ecstatic, euphoric, exultant, over the moon, as DPS Dubai is turning 20 in March 2023. We officially start our 20th anniversary celebration to the DPSD torch relay. We request you all to kindly rise and welcome the torch bearers, Aditya Bansal and Haripriya Vekatasan, the head boy and head girl of primary, as they bring in the ceremonial torch. The torch, a manifestation of knowledge and inspiration, celebrates the spirit of DPS Dubai. This torch will be relayed on to the other grades until next year, symbolizing continuity and perpetuity of DPS Dubai as it unites one event with another. May we request our beloved principal and director, our vice principals and headmistresses to inaugurate today's event by augmenting the gleam of the flame, symbolizing DPS Dubai's ambition to continue to serve as a beacon of light. Thank you, ma'ams. Inspirational purpose, a trailblazer in educational innovation, phenomenal versatility, and a passionate focus on well-being and sustainability. We are fortunate to have a mentor and leader in our principal and director, Ms. Rashmi Nankyolia, who epitomizes a brilliant blend of these leadership qualities. Ma'am zeal to touch the sky and untiring efforts to chisel out the best in each individual have gone a long way in taking DPS Dubai to unimaginable heights in 20 years. May we request you, ma'am, to kindly address the gathering. <clears throat> Still good morning, dear parents, teachers, students. We are delighted to welcome you to our campus after a long hiatus to celebrate the annual day of grades four and five. It is also time to celebrate the coming of age of DPS Dubai as we complete 20 years in the challenging and invigorating environs of Dubai. At this point, I would like to give all your parents a big thank you and a big hand because 
I marvel at how cooperative you are with us. It only took, I think, one message or a couple of phone calls to ensure that without a grumble, everybody shifted their day uh, by two hours, and here you are at, at the second half uh, to see this. Um, I think you uh, will enjoy this big celebration of coming together. The reason was, of course, because you can see that there are already about 600 of you, and if we had put another 600, it would have become quite suffocating, and our babies are still quite tiny, and many a uh, father and mother would have had to strain to see their child performing uh, if you were locked in some corner. But thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Uh, so coming back to our 20 years, our school has grown from strength to strength, and we begin our celebrations today to mark our 20th anniversary. Our school report will inform you of our journey and our tremendous successes. We have much to be grateful for and much to be proud of. You are aware that recently we had our school's inspection by DSIB, which is part of the KHDA. The inspection is like an MRI of our school. International educators, this time eight in number, descended on our school for four days and thoroughly and impartially evaluated our school against six predetermined standards which ranged from leadership, teaching and learning to school management and resources. Believe me, it is extremely rigorous. Every metaphoric carpet is overturned, every drawer is unsealed. There is nowhere to hide, believe me. But my worries were unfounded, and as it turned out, there was nothing to hide. Came the inspection, and our school performed like a well-oiled machine. Chirpy students were the epitome of courtesy and energetic learning. Classes were abuzz with teachers doing what they do best and it was magic. I'm pleased to tell you that our school did extremely well. The report is confidential at this point. However, I can tell you what the inspectors said to us in the boardroom during the debriefing. Parents are extremely complimentary about the school and proud that their children study here. Tick. Governors, she had one word to say, wow, tick. Students are absolutely brilliant and love to learn, tick, tick. Now this is immodest, but still I will say this. Leadership is outstanding with a strong vision that permeates through the ethos of the school. And the list went on. 18 indicators went up. Now, relatively, I want to tell you, 18 seems a small number, but most of the indicators were already very good and outstanding. So that's why those 18 are important. As we stand today, 86% of uh, the indicators are either very good or outstanding. So we felt very relieved and we feel very blessed. Our deepest gratitude once again to you, dear parents, for your unstinting support in all our endeavors. We really mean it. There is no parent community like you. Our overwhelming pride in our children, so well behaved, idealistic, curious, and hardworking. Also very confident, by the way. I, went with the lead inspector for a couple of joint observations and she said, look at your children because they're so confident they were talking to the inspectors as if she was there every day. So hats off to our children and the confidence comes from the home. Our admiration for our teachers who work selflessly with utmost dedication. 
our gratitude to governors who spare no resources for the school and empower us to feel a belonging for the school. Thank you. You know, there was, in every inspection, there is an inspector who comes from the KHDA who is the quality assurance inspector. That means that he wants to see if the inspection is doing well and if we have any complaints. And he said to me, the way this school runs is a miracle. He used the word miracle. I believe it is our collective strength that creates this miracle. If we work together, mountains can be moved and miracles can happen. And I'm indeed fortunate at having been given the privilege of being a principal of this school. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your words of inspiration and unparalleled guidance. With a visionary, resilient, and trailblazing leader at the helm, DPS Dubai will continue to be the sign of excellence in the field of education. It is a momentous day as we gear up to celebrate a significant milestone in our school's journey. Aditya Bansal, head boy, primary, and Harpia Venkatesan, head girl, primary, are here to take us on a nostalgic journey of DPS Dubai's two glorious decades of growth and achievements. Eddie Canto, an American actor once quoted, it takes 20 years to make an overnight success. His words prove beyond doubt that it takes time, effort, persistence, sacrifice, grit, and a sprinkle of luck to achieve success in any new initiative or establishment. As they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. In fact, most things great weren't. Ladies and gentlemen, DPS Dubai turns 20 in March 2023. It has been a long journey of learning and camaraderie, of faith, of fabled feats, and triumphant tales, which we have traversed to the path of excellence. DPSD has grown by leaps and bounds since 2003, and now stands tall and majestic on a sprawling campus of 6.83 acres. At DPSD, it is not about what we do, but about why we do what we do. It is this philosophy that prompted us to adopt the Golden Circle model in our journey of accomplishing the school's vision, the what in the context of the nest of circles. The school zealously promotes a global curriculum by placing emphasis on academic excellence, actualization of talent, global citizenship, and pastoral care. It provides myriad opportunities for children to shine in each of these arenas, the how in the context of the nest of circles. The school consistently communicates why, the purpose of the school, which is to teach students mechanisms for discovering their individual talents early while preparing them to be future ready. We are delighted to share that our principal and director has been awarded the coveted UAE Golden Visa for her outstanding contribution to education. Ma'am is the recipient of the prestigious SIF Kalpana Chawala Women Achievers Award 2022 in the academics category. And she has also obtained the education profession license in school leadership. Under her mentorship, it is no wonder that our school has grown from strength to strength. Today, 85% of our KHD inspection performance judgments are outstanding and very good. And you will be delighted to learn that the school leadership has been rated outstanding in inspection since 2010 and is a key strength of the school. The sterling CVAC board results through the years are a testament to academic excellence at DPSD. 
our grade 12 results have advanced from 66.6% in 2007 to a brilliant 89.15% this year. The school has produced several golf toppers through the years. DPS Dubai has always shined bright in the international benchmarking tests. What a remarkable achievement it was to secure second position in grade 4 and 10th position in grade 8 in Tim's 2015 and clinching the top spot in the UAE in Tim's 2019 for both grades 4 and 8. Our school was among the top performing schools in UAE in PISA 2018 and our scholars continue to blaze a trail of glory at the national and international Olympiads. GPS Dubai has always been a trendsetter, a school of many historic firsts. From being the first in the country to host a girls cricket tournament, to the launch of the Indigo Rating Read program to nurture a lifelong love of reading. From the introduction of jute bags to transform DPSD to a no-plastic zone to adopting the co-education system, DPS Dubai has always blazed new trails for others to follow. Students at DPS Dubai are empowered to strive for excellence through a multitude of programs launched by our principal and director. Inter-school MUN and multidisciplinary annual days, programs to fuel each child's innate skills and passion. Pertinent and progressive themes of the year to spur learning while building school spirit. Live, a program promoting real-life application of concepts. Fire, free, innovative, relevant exploration. And rare, recent, articulate and reflective exposition to hone critical thinking and writing skills. BYOD, allowing students to bring their own devices to make learning more engaging and interactive. RFID introduced in 2015 to bolster student safety. Design thinking to inspire students to find ways to solve real life problems via experimenting and prototyping. Harkness stable approach to promote student led learning. FOT focus on TIMS and FOP focus on PISA to emphasize the importance of international examinations. Chain reaction. The illustrious alumni of this school are engaged to facilitate winners at school events to inspire our current students to work towards excellence. Community engagement programs under the banner of Gallup, Global Academic, Local Old Students Network and Philanthropic Engagements. Outreach programs, Enduring Edge and the Art and Science of Peer Renting. The summer model of technology integration to harness the power of technology to maximize learning. These programs pave the path for student-led ingenious initiatives such as Nutrient Sensor, Roadmap 2017, Eco Hub, and Building the World's Tallest Tower, Locus, an AR app for navigation of the DPSD campus, COP, a teacher punctuality tracking app, and the website DPSD Hub that consolidates our events and activities. With the advent of modern and innovative teaching methods, we have constantly upgraded our physical and digital infrastructure. DPSD Sports Ground 2006. The majestic, multi-purpose sports arena 2008. Vibrant Kinder Learning Center 2008. Olympic size swimming pool in 2010. Two new extensive libraries taking the total to five in 2011. The advanced e-library and ICT enabled classrooms in 2012. The magnificent milestone block in 2015. The grandiloquent Mahaba world in 2016. State of the art tennis courts in 2016. Sensor integration room in 2018. STEM based outdoor play era in kindergarten in 2018. Yoga Studio and Fitness Center in 2018. Revamped Sprawling Greenfield in 2019. The Omar Guard Steve Labs in 2019. Cameras and Speakers. IFP Boards. Tabs for KG1 and Grade 1. And the Serene Zen Zone in 2022. We at Deepest Dubai stand committed to the country's sustainable development. We are a signatory of the school commitment to the Sustainable Development Goals and therefore a member of Global Schools Program. 
This year, we have integrated the SDGs into our curriculum to promote climate action. Our principal and director, Ms. Rashmi Nand Kyolio, is the winner of the Distinguished Conservation Leader Award from Deva in 2017 for her role in supporting environmental sustainability. Our institution is the pioneer of numerous sustainability initiatives. Vertical gardens designed by the engineering graphic students in 2018. Warriors for Environment project in 2019 where we upcycled old uniforms and bed sheets into eco-friendly bags. Solar panels in 2019 to reduce the school's carbon footprint. The Green School project launched in 2019. Vegetables are grown in the school's kitchen gardens. Innumerable beach cleanup and recycling drives. What a trendsetter our projects have been. DPST was chosen as the School of Arts Ambassador in July 2016. Today, we have an embedded long-term commitment to happiness and well-being by adopting the PERMA pillows. We thrive on positive emotion and engage in flourishing thoughts, actions and words. We are indeed a happy school. Along with creating a healthy and happy educational context, we ensure a safe learning environment. Inclusivity is a hallmark of our school. We offer an enriched curriculum, subject choices and modifications such as dynamic cells for pastoral care and facilities such as ramps, bridges and elevators thus making the school fully accessible to all. GPS Dubai supports students who require personalized pathways to learning through the Rahul program known as POL. The school thus supports students who aspire to reach greater heights in their field of excellence. Community and parents are the valuable stakeholders in creating a harmonious system. You, dear parents, are the towers of our strength. The laurels that the school has garnered would not have been possible without your support. Parental engagement continues to flourish under the four pillars of CHA program. A plethora of eminent personalities have visited our school. Our students have had the golden chance to interact with luminaries such as Kailash Satyarthi, Shukuntala Devi and Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. DPS Dubai has produced many illustrious alumni whose contributions at national and international levels have been significant. Our past is adorned with achievements and accolades. Our present is a trailblazer and we create magic in what we do at our school. We are future ready and focused on our goals. We owe it to our beloved principal and director, Ms. Rashmi Nand Kiyolio, for building a shared vision for the school. To all teachers for taking a bold step towards new learning. To all motivated students, brave enough to respond to challenges to be the best versions of themselves. To all parents for giving children the roots to grow and wings to fly. And finally, our generous and foresighted management also rated outstanding in the KHDA inspection. Thank, Thank you. DBS Dubai's inspirational journey to the pinnacle of success is nothing short of miraculous. Some dreams are small and some big. And then the unimaginably wild dreams. DPS Dubai inspires its students to dream the impossible dream, gives wings to fly free and light to unimaginable heights. Today, we have amongst us one such dreamer and believer and achiever. Mr. Shihan Shokat, our exceptionally talented illuminist. Mr. Shihan, a computer engineer from Penn State University. He was conferred with not one, but two awards, Best Director Short Film and Best Original Story at the Cannes World Film Festival 2022 for his riveting directorial debut venture, the short thriller film Deadline. It is a matter of great pride that the movie will screen at the most prestigious Cannes Film Festival 2023 in addition to film festivals in London, Paris, Milan, India, and the UAE. Let's see what our alumnus, Mr. Shehan Shokat, has to say about us. 
Hello everyone, this is Shihan Shaukat, a very proud DPS Dubai alum. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has helped me from DPS Dubai to help shape my career what it is right now. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank DPS Dubai, all the staff, the teachers, my friends, everyone involved who told us and dared us to dream and achieve all our big goals no matter how daunting they might be. So uh, thank you once again and uh, hopefully see you all very soon. Thank you, sir, for inspiring us to do our best. We wish you luck in all your endeavors. DPS Dubai is exploring through innovative activities, not one, but three powerful themes this academic year. And they are future forward in the year 2070. Hashtag UAE forward and fabulous at 50 and holistic health, mind, body and soul. Additionally, the UN 17 Sustainable Development Goals have been creatively and seamlessly integrated into our curriculum. Today's musical focuses on SDG 13, Climate Action. Climate change and its raft of associated environmental issues is the Everest of all problems, the thorniest challenge facing humankind. The good news is that we can tackle it and we are already at it. DPS Dubai has always promoted students' critical thinking abilities and sustainable environmental behavior through trailblazing projects to inspire environmental stewardship in students. The musical Around the World in Eight Days aims to inspire us to reduce our ecological footprint while increasing our ecological handprint. It will highlight diverse climate change issues and more importantly, the ambitious efforts taken around the world to reverse the nefarious consequences of climate change. Dear audience, it is time to unfold the colors of merriment and transport you to another world. So get set to journey around the world in eight days to delight in delightful drama, dazzling dance sequences, colorful costumes, majestic props, and breathtakingly beautiful 3D graphics. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hold your breath as we now present before you the much-awaited, spectacular and scintillating musical Around, Around the World in Eight Days. Enjoyed the break from school? Kaveri, you call this a break? Post entrapment at home with doors and windows closed because of the suit and smog. Delhi is becoming more and more polluted every day. What say, Ahmed? Oh, what I wouldn't do for some clean, fresh air. Here's school. It's good to see you back! 
had trouble getting to school? Here's Alaknanda as well. Oh, the traffic congestion. I couldn't bike to school because of the smog. Ugh, the emissions. Ah, the carbon in my lungs. Why can't someone do anything about it? The world is full of pollution. I'm feeling ill. <coughs> Ma'am, why is our climate changing? What are the visible signs of climate change? Permafrost in the Arctic, which is thawing 70 years ahead of what we had expected. Antarctica is melting three times as fast as a decade ago. Ocean levels are rising quicker than expected. If we do not control our human activity and live more responsibly, more than 150 million people will find themselves in coastal floods by 2050. <gasps> like the devastating floods in Kerala? <laughs> then are we all doomed? I feel so helpless and hopeless. Buck up children! Climate change is the moral challenge of your generation. We are the first generation to feel the sting of climate change. And we are the last generation who can do something about it. Then how about doing a project on climate change? Mm, how about travelling to different parts of the world and learning about the impact of climate change? How about going around the world in 80 days? Like Jules Verne's book. 80 days? We don't have the luxury of wasting time. We must act fast. Okay. Around the world in 8 days. <laughs> around the world in 8 days. Where will we go first? Somewhere very close. Your group hug has given me an idea. To Uttarakhand we go. Alaknanda, we will visit your namesake valley first. a beautiful place. Himalaya ki god mein, the forests, so cool and verdant. Truly, in all things of nature, there's something of the marvelous. These Himalayan woods would not have been here if not for this great man, Sundarlal Bahuguna an apostle of non-violent resistance against environmental destruction. Let's talk to him. Welcome, Chairman. I believe you have set out to fight climate change. These forests are our shields, our guardian angels. They prevent floods and land erosion. They must be saved. Oh, tell us how you saved these forests, these rhododendron trees. It all started in 1973 in the Alakananda Valley. It was the women, Doom Singh Negi, Bachni Devi, and many other women who were the first to save these trees from loggers.
गंगा जी को छाल छंडोड़ा पंजार Thunder Dragon. Bhutan? <gasps> the Kingdom of Happiness?
Call Bhutan the kingdom of happiness? Because our king says that gross national happiness is more important than gross domestic product. Wow! So in what ways do you encourage happiness? Our tiny nation has pledged to be carbon negative. Carbon negative? How do you do that? Our constitution has made it mandatory that 72% of our land must be covered by pristine forest cover. Our forests provide a carbon sink of over 3 million. But sadly, we face the worst brunt of climate change. Oh, we're so sorry. But how? The third pole is melting. <gasps> the Third Pole? Yes, apart from the Arctic and Antarctic, the Hindu Kush Himalayan region has stores of more snow and ice than anywhere else in the world. And that is why it is called the Third Pole. It is the source of ten rivers. These glaciers are melting at an alarming rate, making lakes which could burst flooding a land of happiness. Oh no! What have we done? I hope institutions and countries will work to reduce environmental degradation. It is time to bring the UN Sustainable Development Goals to life. Well, there is a very happening school that is in the last of its teens. DPS Dubai. This socially responsible school was in the news for pioneering the use of jute bags to carry school books and stationery. Everyone in the school works together to bring about a sustainable global society. Well, there's no doubt our next destination must be sustainable DPS in Dubai. How to be an urban farmer, sowing seeds in the urban garden for the next months, nature's bounty, sale of organic vegetables at the market day at school. And what do you have? Brinjals, ladyfinger, tomatoes, cucumber, aloe vera, herbs, flowers, in short, we grow all things found in the grocery and pharmacy. But how did all this wonder and splendor come about? Well, it is all thanks to our principal and director. Ma'am wanted the Green School Project to focus on sustainable and healthy eating habits, which is in line with the UAE's food security agenda. Learning is so real. Come join our assembly. We will show you how we teach our KG students to grow plants and also adopt plants for their vertical gardens. Live sustainably and reap the fruits of their labor.
diva, vá diva, vá diva, vá vá, vá diva, vá diva, vá diva, vá vá, vá diva, vá diva, vá diva, vá diva, vá diva, vá diva, vá vá. Oh, where do we go next, ma'am? Well, what about visiting the most populated country in the world? You mean China? Yes, the fastest growing economy. Chinese Ministry of Health, industrial pollution has made cancer China's leading cause of death. So, what is China doing about it? Let's go to the eastern city of Nanjing and see how human ingenuity can combat climate change. What is it that we'll see in Nanjing city? Vertical forests. Oh, vertical forests!
What a wonderful idea! Trees to regulate the climate by absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere. From DPS Dubai in China, we've learned that if land resources are scarce, we can grow upwards and create aerial vertical gardens. Is there a country that is doing its utmost to create new climate-friendly technologies? Yes, the land of the rising sun. have created hybrid electric vehicles. They have the highest fuel efficiency and lowest emissions. Think innovation? That is Japan. You see, though we are so environment conscious, we are plagued by earthquakes because we are situated along the most active earthquake belt. The Pacific Ring of Fire when earthquakes occur below the ocean, they trigger tidal waves or tsunamis like the one in 2011, which was the most devastating the world has ever seen. Children, I would like to take you to the classic Japanese theater. It's called Kabuki. We will watch an opera called do not let the seas swarm you, which shows us the devastating power of tsunamis and how sea levels can inundate land and cause havoc.
Japan has showed us climate change is not the time to bury our heads in the sand, but a time to pioneer industries of the future. Let us visit Brazil and see what is happening in our rainforests. <laughs> the guardians of these forests. We do not cut trees. We only take what falls on the ground. But now, they burn the trees for cultivation, timber, and industries. Now, instead of forests, we have scrub land, a savanna that burns easily. You'll see, one day, they will set fire here and we'll all be gone. We cannot live anywhere else as our bodies cannot adapt outside of the rainforest.
for greed has affected the cultures and traditions of these innocent indigenous people. Has the Amazon reached its tipping point beyond which the forest will not recover? If the Amazon were to turn into a consistent source of carbon emissions, it would accelerate global warming. Scientists fear that its continued destruction could cause drought and deforestation. Oh, take us away from this place of doom and destruction. Oh, take us to a happy place. Children, the night is always the darkest before dawn. Be resilient. There is a place that we must visit. We must attend a funeral. A funeral? Poor thing. Who is dead? We would have to visit Alaska to witness a tragic funeral. Why Alaska? Why the Arctic regions? My dears, the most visible impacts from a globally warmer world would first occur at high altitudes. You see, glaciers are so sensitive to climate change that they begin to melt at the first sign of temperature fluctuations. So, the funeral is for? For the glaciers, which are melting and dying at an alarming rate. children, I am Fagre, a scientist and your guide for the day. This is the Sperry Glacier. It used to be closer. Since 1901, the glacier has shrunk from more than 800 acres to less than 260 acres. It's like watching the Statue of Liberty melt. Let us pay our last respects to this glacier as it collapses into the seas. Its death will have many repercussions for the creatures of the water and us.
शुद्धि ऑफ इट I shall mourn the loss of this glacier along with all these beautiful creatures who are on the verge of extinction. Let's fight for Earth. How would you like to be at the forefront of student activism and join climate activist Greta Thunberg in New York? and individual responsibility to preserve and tend to the world we live in our planet needs a boost global warming we must stop we as humans must be kind no challenge is too big if we make up our mind let us unite as one fraternity to save earth for all eternity if we collaborate and innovate we can make our future great breaking news word has got around the social media is a gog with the news come march 2023 dps dubai that nurtured gen z completes 20 years and the illustrious alumni pour their tribute to their alma mater the first graduates are even bringing their spouses and babies truly a moment of infinite pride glory and joy expect fanfare year long celebrations as dps dubai celebrates its 20th anniversary heralding the third decade of its spectacular scintillating stellar role in imparting joyous learning we invite you to a whole new world a new fantastic point of view Cosas maravillosas 
Over sideways and under All the magic of it right A whole new Gentlemen, we are sure you enjoyed the performance as much as we did. Let us give a thunderous round of applause to all our performers. We now have Ananya Sandeep of Grade 5B to propose the vote of thanks. Good morning, one and all. We express our heartfelt gratitude to our beloved principal and director, Ms. Rashmi Nand Kyolia. Thank you for the inspirational theme for the musical. It has touched our hearts and we are confident that each one of us will contribute in protecting our Mother Earth. We thank you from the bottom of our heart. We would also like to mention our deep sense of appreciation to our vice principals, headmistresses, the event in charges, the school manager, and all the departments for their hard work and dedication in making the annual day a grand success. We thank our parents for the strength that you infuse into us. Last, but by no means the least, we say a big thank you to the students. You rocked it with that unbeatable energy that you generated on the stage today. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day.